this tutorial, I want to show you how you can use the parametric bench definition. Uh, you can download the examples, example number one and example number two, to see how you can use this to produce different benches. Uh, so the first input uh, of this definition is the rail. Uh, let me just show you. Uh, you can define a curve to uh, the path of the bench. The second part is the number of sections you want. So you can see here that uh, you can define how many sections you uh, want from the output and the third uh, input is the location of the sections so how does this work uh, the sections can be defined in the profiles and the point so first you have to define the sections in the curve so you can see that here we have uh, three sections and defined and you have to define uh, three points uh, so uh, we so the definition locates the profile sections onto the curve so you can see that this uh, first section goes to the location zero so it will be at the start of the curve the second section will go to uh, location 0 0.4 so maybe here and this will just move this to the location and the third section uh, will just be oriented on the last uh, part of the curve so I will show you how you can play with these numbers to different uh, to produce different benches. So the last uh, thing you can give is uh, thickness. If you define the thickness, you can see that the results will come out as the solids. And the last part is that do you want the solids or no? So if you just put this as a false, you can see that you can have the curves. But if you define the solids, you can see that the solids is uh, are exactly at the center of the curve and defined at the both sides so you can produce uh, the bench. So basically I'm going to, and you can see the example two here, I've defined two sections here. So it basically has two curves, two starting points and two locations based on the curve. And uh, finally you have the results. So uh, you can see uh, if you go to the parametric house tab uh, you can find the fabricate uh, menu and parametric bench. You can also download the patterns uh, um, morph module or surface Voronoi uh, from foodforino.com or for our, for, uh, from our website. So I'm going to use this parametric bench and let me just show you with this white vocals. Okay, so we have the rail. Let me just define a rail here. We can have uh, curve so maybe we have a s like rail here so i'm going to extract this and set this to the rail okay the next part is the number of the sections so maybe we need 30 sections around this curve and the next is the location so i'm going to define uh four sections here so you can see you can check the two sections in the example number two and uh, you can check three sections in example number one. So in this example, I'm going to use four sections so you can understand. So let's define three different sections. Uh, I'm going to use an uh, L-shaped section here and I'm going to define multiple control points so I can change the form and we can just finish this here. Okay, and I'm going to use the Alt key and copy these sections, okay? And these are the four sections. Uh, I'm going to go to the profiles, extract and set these sections, okay? These are the four sections. Now we need the point, so I'm going to define a point, set multiple points here and define four points because we want to orient these sections from the corner. So you can also define at the center if you want to put those sections on the curve from center or whatever you want. Okay, now the last thing we need is the location of these uh, four sections. So I'm going to give a 0 to 1 with two decimals and define four number sliders. You can also go to the Parms menu and use the gene pool and 
double click on it and define a four gene count uh, from zero to one. So this is going to be from the start to end. And now you can see that I have four locations and that is for the start of the curve, the second location, the third and the last. So if I just define this, uh, you can stay, okay, the sections and the model is going to make and produce the solid. Okay, and here it goes. You can see that it has defined the curves uh, here. And what we have to do is to rebuild this curve. Okay, uh, let me just give this a better curve. So maybe this is a better one. I prefer to rebuild this curve so it has a better distribution of the curves here and uh, be aware of the location uh, or the direction of the curve so if i go to the uh, analyze direction here you can see that this is the direction if i just flip this you can see that those will go inward or outward so you can just define this uh, by uh, defining the direction of the curve okay so let me just make this 20 and now I'm going to uh, change these sections and you can see how easily uh, we can make the, okay, let's just make this 40 so you can see the results. And I'm going to change the second section. Maybe we just go up and uh, maybe we just go in, make this up, okay, and bring those two points further. And you can see that the results changing, okay. And let me just move everything here. Uh, okay, we have to change the location of the points that, because we are moving the corner of that. So let's just move this two up. Maybe just bring this down and make this go back. Okay, and let's play with these. We can also take this up take this two and maybe scale them a little bit okay so I have four sections here and you can see uh, the result is changing from uh, first curve to the fourth and you can also change this by uh, changing the last number I'm just changing the location of the last section you can see that it goes uh, it's a sub curve so it's just point zero point nine and I can change that okay and so you can define uh, whatever curve you want. So let me just show you with a polyline. Okay, let me set this to a rail. Okay, we have to rebuild this to 10 points. And you can see that when we rebuild this, this is going to define the sections. I can flip this and have them in the next direction or the opposite direction and uh, you can see that it goes down so you can control that with just rotating the sections defining the curve maybe 180 degrees and defining the sections or the direction of the curve so you can see how easily you can use this definition to produce the sections the last input okay you can see that the correct is the correct direction is in here, shown here. Okay, now I'm going to give this maybe a bigger curve so the sections fit in that. And now what I'm going to do is to define the thickness. That uh, Those are the curves here. You can see that there's a problem here because there's a section in the solid. So if we produce a solid with these four sections, there will be a problem in the sweep of the surface. So Remember, you have to control uh, the curvature of your uh, path or the rail. So uh, we have limitations in the defi defining the rail here. So you can see it here exactly. And I'm going to change this. So, and that's okay. So remember that you have to control the curvature. And the last part is to, uh, you can have, you can have the sections here, okay, we can control this by connecting the surface to that and you can see the surfaces. Okay, now I'm going to give this a thickness, so maybe 2.5. I don't know how much this thickness is or it's 
okay or not so let's check this out and after giving this thickness do you want the solid so you can just connect the toggle to here and put it to true okay and you, you can see the solids okay so just make this to five and you can see that the results are into solids and you can bake them and have the solids and you can also have the uh, surface here so I'm going to show you a trick uh, a trick you can use on this so if I go to the sections and put a loft those sections are in groups so let's flatten them so all of those curves will be to the surface you can see the base uh, surface which has been used to produce the bench so this is it and remember there will be problems uh, because of the sections uh, that are just uh, going to be converted to each other so after that you can just uh, deconstruct this and let's uh, use a list item to uh, put out of face so I'm going to use the list item and you can see that how easily you can produce the surfaces here I'm going to give this a number slider so uh, you can see that the 8 is here and that is the problem so remember we have to uh, control the curvature again and again so I'm going to put this here and you can see that this will be correct okay and again we can give this another number maybe nine and that is a small section so we can give it a 10 and have the bench the top of the bench so I'm going to bake this so you can see that okay that is the result now let's just make this in the render section and now I'm going to bake the solids and here we go so you can use this tool to produce the surface the solids uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask I will try to um, improve the definition so this is the first definition for that and uh, maybe you have problems with it so feel free to test it and if you have any problem with the definition uh, just tell me uh, underneath the Food for Rhino page or in the website so I can manage to change the definition and make a better definition for this uh, uh, definition for the bench, parametric bench. So you can see how easily you can convert these sections to each other on our array and uh, feel free to play with those examples. The example number one, uh, you can see that this is a curved section so you can have the results easily here we go you can see that this is the place they can sit or something like that or you can use the example number two to see how easily by defining just two set of curves you can produce beautiful bench parametric bench here and and i have used the same a logic that I explained we flatten the curve we love that we deconstruct that and pick up one of those surfaces and use that uh, okay for the top surface of the bench and you can easily make that with a CNC machine or a laser cut and how easily you can produce a beautiful bench and by converting those so this will help you to uh, produce different benches with different sections and path. Okay, thank you for watching.